sharp game here coming at you with another episode from chooseyourrelationships.com off of love can wait which you can find on amazon.com and somebody sent me over a article about nick cannon cannon you know i'm i'm a, I'm a fan of nick cannon I, I like what he do i like what he speak all that shit but uh, somebody said he made a joke about a stand-up um he was doing on showtime and nbc uh, they didn't like it they didn't like the joke that he did and you know this is just a this is, i think this is just an excuse you know just uh you know have to justify a reason why they don't don't want to do business with him no more or why they wanted him to get off the show either or you know but uh you can't really see where the, let me tell you what the problem is we're the only group of people in america that it's hard for us to be ourselves when we're taking care of business or doing our jobs around white folks see people i've heard people making comments online saying he's be, he was being too black and all that nonsense but they never say you're being too white you're being too korean you're being too chinese you know this is a this is an ignorance that you gotta that we gotta put up with if we uh if we work around white folks in america and you know what the good news is nick cannon he has the uh financial freedom to say what he want to say you know and a lot of unfortunately all of us don't have those freedoms you know just like the um kardashians they have the financial freedom to date who they want you know what i'm saying everyone every woman don't have those freedoms like that they don't have those privileges like that and that's a good thing he can say what he want if you don't like it he can say you know what fuck you that's exactly what he did so i'm gonna read a little little bit of this uh okay it said basically cannon didn't uh they didn't like the uh, cannon made the decision to exit the franchise amid controversy over a racially charged joke he told in his recent showtime stand-up special stand up don't shoot according to cannon executives at nbc believe he just par parades the brand and later threatened to terminate his contract after days of deliberate deliberating over some ex extremely disappointing news that i was being threatened with termination by executives because of a comedy special that was only intended to bring communities closer together i was to be punished for a joke he wrote on instagram and facebook this has weighed heavily on my spirit it was brought to my attention by my team that nbc believed that i was in breach of contract because i had this parade their brand in my defense, I would ask, how so? Or is this just another way to silence and control an outspoken voice who often battles the establishment? And he goes on to say, I honestly believe once I started doing America's Got Talent, they took my real nigga card. They did because then, like these type of people, started showing up to my shows cannon said in a special according to hollywood reporter i can't do the real nigga stuff no more because then they'll put me on tmz he added he also added that nbc stood for nigger better come on and that the network didn't allow him to speak freely at risk of losing white money and he goes on to say i find myself in a dark place having to make a decision that I wish I didn't have to but as a man an artist and a voice for my community I will not be silenced controlled or threatened like a piece of property he continued in, in the post there is no amount of money worth my dignity or my integrity I hear you brother I have love 
hosting America's Got Talent for the last eight seasons, watching talented, brave, and courageous Americans accomplish their dreams in front of millions, millions has been nothing but a joy, and everyone has been a pleasure to work with, but my soul won't allow me to be in business with corporations that attempt to frown on my freedom of speech, censor artists, and question cultural choices. I hate it, brother. All you have is your dignity and your integrity. If you give that up, see, it's over. Man, he wrote some shit on Facebook. It's kind of long. I'll read some of it. I write this from a deeply saddened and delirious mindset. After days of deliber deliberating over some extremely disappointing news that I was being threatened with termination by executives because of a comedy special that was only intended to bring communities closer together, I was to be punished for a joke. This has weighed heavily on my spirit. I was brought to, it was brought to my attention by my team that NBC believed that I was in breach of contract because I had disbarred their brand. In my defense, I would ask, how so? Or is this just another way to silence and control an outspoken voice who often battles the establishment? Recently, many of my mentors have cautioned me that soon the system would come down on me because I was speaking too much, too many truths and being too loud about it. I had no idea that it all would hit so close to home. I find myself in a dark place having to make a decision that I wish I didn't have to. But as a man, an artist, force in my community, I will not be silenced, controlled, or treated like a piece of property. Oh, man. And he goes on to say, There's no amount of money worth my dignity or my integrity. I have loved hosting America's Got Talent for the Last eight seasons, watching talented, brave, and courageous Americans accomplish their dreams in front of millions of millions has been nothing but a joy, and everyone has been a pleasure to work with. But my soul won't allow me to be in business with corporations that attempt to frown on freedom of speech, censor artists, and question cultural choices. Not to get too t detailed, but this isn't the first time executives have attempted to put me in my place for so-called unruly actions. I will not stand for it. My moral principles will easily walk away from the millions of dollars that hang over my head. It's never been about money for me. What is difficult to walk away from is the fans, the people who love me on the show. This hurts tremendously. I felt like I was a part of the fabric of our great nation every summer, representing every culture, age, gender, and demographic. Now for the rug to be pulled from underneath me and to be publicly reprimanded and ridiculed over a joke about my own race is completely wrong and I have to do something about it. I have fought many battles in my career and have never been afraid to go up against the system. I have mulled over my process for days and felt it was best to once again speak my mind about an unjust infrastructure that treat talent like they own them. Maybe it was my mistake for signing the contract in the first place, in which I will take full responsibility and have already taken action to restructure my own team of advisors. I now have to set out on a journey of freedom as an artist. As I was quoted in a recent interview, you can't fire a boss, and that is the essence that I possess. So I wish AGT and NBC the best in its upcoming season, but I cannot see myself returning. As of lately, I have even questioned if I want to even be a part of it of an industry who ultimately treats artists in this manner. Most of us don't 
realize that there are six major corporations that control 90% of media in America and the amount of minorities and the and hold up most of us don't realize that there are six major corporations that control 90% of media in America and the amount of minority executives is dismal with this being the case true equality in our industry is impossible there will always be a do as I say mentality that mirrors society's perception of women and minorities and only a few will stand up against it I proudly stand as one of those few and will gladly take on whatever repercussions that come with it I love art and entertainment too much to watch it be ruined by controlling corporations and big business I believe it's our duty as artists to make a difference and create change even if it's one act at a time Dr. King said it best our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter amen brother you gotta stand for something or you fall for anything and if you get out, if you step out there, don't look for anybody to uh, stand by you or look out for you. But, you know, Nick, he, he got the financial backing and, and the privilege to do that. So that's a good thing. So what do you think? You think this is a good thing, bad thing? Leave it comments, questions below. And follow me on Instagram, Sharp Game One. Until next time, Sharp Game is out. Peace.